Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kiss Cupa Bikey, to give another YouTube video, and it is the end of 2023 video. I can't believe 2023 is over. It went so fast. So in this video, like every year, I kind of recap what's happened this year and then obviously there's a slideshow at the end. Um, but first we have to talk about these goals that I have not talked about. Um, so last time we talked was um, <laughs> the last video I did, which was goal eight. Um, so now I'm going to talk about all these other goals to see if we finished it or not. So try a new hobby was one of my goals and I did end up well, I got back into a hobby this summer, which was bracelet making, which there's some on here. I've had them for quite a while, um, but I started doing bracelet making again with a lot of my kids at work. But then the new hobby that I tried was crocheting and Shelby was teaching me that. I did it for a few weeks, but then I kind of like stopped because I, I feel like if I had like, not that I don't have time, but if I have like mentally the time to do it and sat down, it would be really fun. That was goal nine out of 20. Of course, one of my goals is to see 14 or more movies in the theater um, because you know how much we love going to the movie theater. And we ended up seeing 16. The last movie we saw was actually a few days ago and it was Wonka, which is the new Willy Wonka movie. And it was, it was so amazing. Honestly, I've been to a lot of movies, like, you know, and that was one of the best movies I've seen in a while. It was so good. The music in it was beautiful. The acting Timothy did such an amazing job playing Wonka. It was so good. So that was goal 10 out of 20. Do something fun once a month with my siblings. That is something I did do. I know I was going to like make a separate video so I could talk about all the stuff that I did. But of course, I didn't because I literally am so scattered brain sometimes. But do something that's fun with my siblings once a month. We did like... We did Mario Kart sometimes, we played board games, card games, went to arcades, went on vacations. We did a lot of stuff with our siblings that was a lot of fun. Also, we took them to movies sometimes. So that was goal number 11 out of 20. One of my goals was to clean slash organize my room. Um, I know that's kind of a silly-ish goal, but it was a goal to do, and I actually did some, I didn't clean it as much as I wanted to, and again, like I said, around the holidays, it gets so crazy, but I have organized it more, like I got another bookshelf, yes, another one, um, but it's helped organize my books more, and I put my record player on top, which it's really nice to have it out of the way, but like, where I can use it, and we actually use the record player a lot, which I, I really like it, it's, it's nice, um, but, uh, yeah, I did clean and organize my room more, so that is goal 12 out of 20, so one of my goals is to hang out with my friends more, because the year before, I didn't really hang out with friends that much, but this year, when I tell you I hung out with friends more, I really did, I know that also sounds kind of sad, but, um, I really did, and I reconnected with some friends that I haven't talked to in a few years, and it was honestly so, so amazing, I I went to movies with friends, I went to uh, museum places, I even went to a musical with one of my childhood friends. We went and saw Dear Van Hansen, which that was one of my unofficial goals that I really wanted to see if you saw the, the first video from this year, is see Dear Van Hansen. I, oh, it was amazing, it was literally one of the best experiences ever, and seeing that with a friend who also loves the musical is just makes the experience even better, so that was a lot of fun. I'm so glad to reconnect with my, some of my friends and then also hang out with some of my other friends that I haven't hung out in a little while and it was it was honestly so amazing I'm so glad I got this goal done that was goal 13 out of 20. Do something spontaneous I did something spontaneous I so my favorite comedian was coming into town and I found out about it a few months in advance then completely forgot about it then the night before I was like oh my god he's in Iowa right now like can I please please go see him and then I ended up getting tickets the night before so that was definitely spontaneous and it was literally honestly one of the best experiences like ever because I absolutely love him like I said he's my favorite comedian Samuel J. Conrad and it was it was amazing if you don't know who he is he was an American guy talent and he has some really funny videos if you want to look him up but amazing so we even got a picture with him i was like starstruck almost literally that was goal 14 out of 20 do something that scares me 
Okay, to a lot of people, this might not scare you, but to me, it really did. But I auditioned for a musical this year. Um, and I haven't auditioned for a musical for about six, seven years. Uh, it was terrifying. I didn't make it in, which I'm not, like, mad about, but I'm just saying it was terrifying. But the experience was good, and I'm glad that I did it. It was scary, but I did it, and that was cool. 15 out of 20. Do it all nighter. Doing an all-nighter is so fun. I love doing all-nighters. We are actually doing one right now, like tonight. So technically, it's done and not done. But this is the night before the new year. So it's not the new year yet. When you see this, it will be past and we've already done the, the all-nighter. But we're going to be playing Mario Kart, watching movies, watching YouTube. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I, I love all-nighters. Um, So that is goal 16 out of 20. One of my goals was to write in a journal once a week, and I did that. It was not easy sometimes. Sometimes I would forget a little bit, and so I would have to uh, do, like, the week before. But I did it. I have it all in this little journal. And I think it's so crazy. Like, yes, I have Snapchat and stuff that helps me remember. But look, this is all writing for a whole month in here. That's crazy to just like look back on like paper and see like the highlights of the week. I'm really thinking about doing this again next year because this was a lot of fun and it's so cute. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. And that is goal 17 out of 20. Now this next goal is the goal that we've all been waiting for. Um, read 20 books. The One of the goals that have been killing me every year since I've started doing this, and I keep telling myself I'm going to do it, and I do so good in the beginning. Like, this month, I this year, I read four in the first month. I was doing so good in the beginning. Then I started slowing down in the middle. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to start reading. I started reading some more, then I started slowing down again, and then I got to the busy holidays, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Um, You guys want to know the, um, the goal that I mean, the, how many books I read? Drum roll, please. 20 books. <laughs> okay, I know I'm like overreacting, but I'm so excited and so happy and so proud of myself. I cannot believe I did that. I read 20 books and I know it was like just the goal, but next year, hopefully we can do better. I am so happy and proud of myself that I did 20 books. I am... Oh, that was so excited. And goal, that was goal 18 out of 20. Now goal 19 out of 20 would be read as many books as I can, which like I just told you was 20 books. Um, but technically I did 26. Hear me out. I read six half books. Now you're probably wondering what half books is. Half books is a book that I wouldn't consider a full book because they had less than 200 pages. Yeah, I still wanted to read them. So if you really want to think about it, I read 26 books. But because they were a little bit less than 200, I didn't count them as books. So, like, I didn't count them as full books. So, really, I kind of, I read, like, 20 full books and then six half books. I don't know if that really makes sense, but maybe to book people it does. But I finished 19 out of 20. And my last goal, 20 out of 20, is have a fun, crazy, awesome, cool year. And we did it! I cannot believe it. Like, I knew this was going to happen, but I didn't. And I'm, I'm so happy and proud of myself. Like, I can't believe we finished all, well, I, we, we all finished 20 out of 20 goals for 2023. Yes! It only took a few years to do it, but we did it. So hopefully next year we can do it too. <laughs> Anyways, I am so grateful for all of you guys watching my videos. Well, even though there's not a lot of you, but by watching my videos, I'm so grateful. And thank you for being on this journey with me. The next video I do will be my goals for 2024. Um, so that's exciting. And then um, also right now, you're about to see a slideshow about my amazing year. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again, all of you for coming. And I will see you all next year. Love you. Bye.
sound of drums People couldn't believe what I'd become Get lost in the moment 